Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is 1010 of 21. Um, one, two. Well, let me say, by the way, I switched keyboards back. I switched back to my uh, Google. No, it's uh, not Google. It's... Uh, Anyway, what is it? That's a G910. Um, other than that, I think that's... I moved the uh, camera over there on a tripod. I can't get that tripod to go any lower, but I do have, you know, smaller tripods. But... Since I move things around, I've got some stuff that I still need to hook up and connect. Um, there's been talk on the news, well, first of all, in the UK or whatever, because of them leaving the uh, European Union, they're having major, major uh, uh, shortages of supplies and all types of problems over there, which is caused by uh, multiple problems because of leaving the EU. Uh, here, there's been talk about the uh, terrible disruption of uh, our system for delivering food and that type of, you know, to grocery stores and that type of thing, and shortages. Uh, for multiple, you know, reasons. Uh, you know, there are container ships off of our ports that are filled with merchandise and they can't pull into the ports because there's ships sitting there filled with merchandise that can't be unloaded because... Uh, multiple reasons again uh, not enough longshoremen you know workers to do that then there's a problem with uh, truck drivers in the United States I didn't realize that over the road truck drivers well I think all of us <laughs> never realized how important a lot of these people were until this the virus hit and uh, we have a much greater appreciation for medical workers and and truck drivers of all and and others. You know, uh, uh, people in the store shocking, you know, stocking the show, just everything. But I didn't realize that, and I even I've I've known some over the road truckers. One, a very good friend, he had a a career before, and then when he retired, he. Uh, did some over-the-road trucking. Uh, and I learned a lot from him, you know, by uh, him telling me, you know, stuff about the, the medical, you know, requirements and how you have to, uh, I think it's yearly, you have to have a medical exam. And if you're, if something is out of whack, you have to, depending on what it is, you know, there's, there's a lot to it. Also, what I didn't realize until I read someplace, I guess, recently, or maybe on the internet, who knows? Oh, I think I need to put that camera back where it was. Um, what I didn't realize, I wondered, well, I wondered in the past, because I worked at a hospital where right a very short distance away there was a truck driving school, and... Uh, to, you know, train and uh, over-the-road truckers. And I was working hospital security. And uh, that school, well, I don't, you know, I'm sure there are good schools, you know, and I don't know how you, if you want to be an over-the-road trucker or some kind of a trucker that needs training, I'm not sure how you, uh, 
you know, find out, make sure you get a good one. Uh, that school, because I talked to some of the people who are going to the school, and, uh, well, more than one, I know, uh, several. So that makes me believe that it was true. That they were in some town and uh, or city and living on the street or homeless or uh, whatever. And recruiters from the truck driving school show up and say, hey, and I forget now what the incentives, well, it, well, the incentive would be, you know, if you go there and then you get out and then you could get a good job. But these guys were not going to be, you know, uh, they would, I guess, go to the school. The school uh, gets money from the government to train these guys. And these guys are never going to be uh, truck drivers. I had at least one, and I think more than one, told me, I said, well, like, how did you get, how did you get in this program, you know? And uh, the, uh, it's more than one told me that uh, when they had to take the urine test or blood test, I think it was a urine test, you know, for drugs or whatever, that somebody else took it for them. And it was just, you know, but uh, I know there's got to be good schools, but but for these over-the-road truckers, and I've watched, by the way, I've watched some YouTube videos, you probably have too, uh, even some women, you know, over-the-road drive. And too, if you're an over-the-road, well, they have different, you know, they have, I've known, uh, you know, truck drivers who, you know, driving a big rig, but, you know, like, they'd leave Kansas City and go to, you know, every, they have maybe the same run, you know, like, Kansas City to uh, uh, Wichita, Kansas, or, you know, and back, you know, things like, you know, might be, they go, that's a, a run they do every day, but then there's truckers who uh, are small business people really they and they have to be pretty sharp you know with I forget what a filling uh, one of those trucks cost and if you you know you got to be able to manage your money and and then they also have to you know work out some of them now, some of the companies you know they supply you with the truck and some of the companies you can have your own truck and work you know through a company or you can be sort of uh, you know, you're picking up your own, you're, you know where, you know, you're picking up, it's, it's pretty, uh, you can't be a dummy and do, you know, you could be a dummy, I guess, and do a certain, you know, certain route or a certain way or something, but, but what I didn't realize, and it took me a long time to get to this with, you know, with you, I wondered why there was such a shortage of truck drivers. Well, I figured, well, okay, health reasons, you know, and then I figured, okay, well, you know, they do this for a while, and then their wife and their family, you know, never see them, depending on the type of route you have and stuff. And I thought, well, a bunch of them leave for that time. But there's other reasons that they just, you know, get out of it. And that's why, I wondered why you needed, why do you need so many truck driving schools? You turn out the truck drivers, and then I figured they're going to be working that as a career until they retire or something. But no, there's a, a big... Uh, turnover and so that's a problem so there is uh, a supply problem here in the United States and now we've been uh, we've been ordering in food from Walmart uh, they worked on their website I mentioned that I think in a video a while back that I believe it was a mess, and it's still a mess in a way. But now there's, uh, let's go to beverage, beverage, let's go to drinks here. And let's go to, uh, now you're going to see some prices pop up here that, uh, well, just wait, let's see. 
it'll probably now not do that. But, uh, well, one, the prices have gone up. We usually order, you know, 24 packs of Coke Zero. Uh, okay. Coke. Okay, it's available now. Okay. It's uh, available there. Okay, it's going to make me out to be a liar. Uh, because a couple times uh, okay now there's one 24 pack now see I don't know the prices my ex-wife does the uh, thing but I do not believe that a 24 pack of coke is uh, $19.20 some of the prices, let's see. Okay, here's we are. See, it's out of stock. Uh, the ex-wife the other day when she was showing me, you know, I let her do the ordering, but she was, you know, and she was running across well potato chips. Uh, she was ordering or trying to order potato chips, and. Some of these bags of potato chips were like seventy-five dollars. You know, they were showing on this site. Let me do that. Uh, let's see. Whoopsie. See. Yeah, they're having. Come on, don't. I don't want the thing to be messed up, but on the other hand, I want you to. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, bags were actually, uh, okay, it looks like. Okay, now, I don't know, 18 small bags of his $25, but she was seeing, I mean, $75 for a, a bag, a regular bag of potato chips and stuff. Believe me, you know, I'm not... I'm uh, 80 years old, but I don't have Alzheimer's yet. Um, what else was she seeing? Well, she was seeing out of just about everything. Uh, I'd call up our grocery list, but um, personal information might, and I can show up, I could pull up the list and uh, personal information might show. So I don't want to do that. So anyway, this is, I'll just end it here. Uh, I guess if I see another uh, thing like that, I should have saved it. Uh, but I, and we know the cost of living is going up because there's talk this month, I think they announced, I'm on social security. Uh, and my ex-wife is on Social Security. Um, and they can kind of tell what the, and they announced it officially. And, and they're talking, they think it's going to be like 5.9 or 6%. Uh, I've never got, I don't, I don't think I've ever got, uh, an increase that large and that's you know that's the cost of living in cola cost of living in increase so that shows you that the cost and two what I've talked about I think a few times in the past is they have a set you know way of coming up with the cost of living it's not just somebody you know they send the people out and purchase you know how much is a X amount of gasoline how much is, you know, uh, potatoes, milk, all that. They put all this stuff together. The problem is it's not fair to really the old people because we buy a lot of, you know, I don't know depends, <laughs> diapers, uh, you know, not baby diapers either, you know, and a whole bunch of other things that I don't think are 
calculated into the system. And uh, now, too, the problem we have here, well, I think probably everywhere, is uh, we rent an apartment, and every year when a lease comes due, the apartment people always increase the price. And the amount that they raise is always more than the cost of living that we, you know, that we would get. And uh, so, so we're, uh, in fact, that's why my ex-wife lived in this apartment complex for I don't know how many years uh, with my, uh, well, for a while with my uh, grown son. And then he uh, got married, and then he was living in California for a while and what have you. Then he came back and was, but the point being is, uh, then then I moved here, and uh, in a you know different apartment. In fact, it was upstairs in the same apartment building, and it was a one bedroom, one you know one bath, and. Uh, There for a while, my uh, grown son was living, then my grandson was living, you know, uh, here. And, but it it got where they keep raising the price, it got where, and believe me, I really don't want to, you know, share an apartment with my ex wife. Uh, but, you know, we were paying two rents to internet fees, uh, to television fees, you know, every, you know, everything. So we moved together. And uh, so it's now myself, my ex-wife, and my grown son. We're sharing a, you know, a, this is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. And, uh, you know, now I don't think we could go back if we, ha you know, to paying, you know, the electric bill, all this kind of stuff, you know, for two places. So, so we're definitely getting poor. Anyway, I didn't prove my point, but if oh, you, if you're somebody who orders from Walmart and you've been ordering from, uh, you know, food, and uh, you run across some of these things, you might leave a comment below. Believe me, I this I don't have Alzheimer's about this. So, uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Well, maybe I do have Alzheimer's. I'm trying to think how I stop this. <laughs>